guys it's oaks welcome to the channel and thank you for watching this is another reaction video and this time is about tammy abram before anything i wanted to say respect to thomas tuko i've already made a video another reaction video about kalim hasnadoi early on if you haven't checked on that i'm gonna leave the link in the description down below so i made another video and pretty much i said the same this is just a reaction it's not about attacking anybody it's about reading somebody's comment and then giving my opinion thomas tuko won us pretty much everything he's one of the best in the world probably the philosophy wasn't working with the current crop of talent that we have because he's very good on managing, probably not so good on coaching and developing. But he earned it. He doesn't have time to waste with a bunch of kids. But we are moving in the in another di direction. And Thomas Tuko is going to get a great job very, very soon. Okay, so this one is a little longer than the Kalum Hasunadoi one. So I am going to tell you if you want to read the entire thing, you go on MailSport or MailOnline.com and you're going to read the entire article. I'm going to just read some quote from Tammy Abram and then uh, we, we go from there. So Tammy here says, uh, at Chelsea, I was viewed purely as a goal scorer. Here, I've learned different aspects of the game. You know what I mean? So that is co that called coaching. That is called coaching because Jose Moreno is a proper coach. He made Droba who he was. Of course, he was a good player at Marseille one season in the first division but he took Didier Droba to the next level it took him at least two years at Chelsea Football Club for Didier Droba to start scoring regularly people were saying that he he was going to move to Milan he was going to to Inter or Barcelona he was frustrated we were lucky we were lucky we didn't have this uh, crap of social media and uh, he was saved by that but imagine if Didier Droba was there in time in this time of uh, social media. It was going to be something else. He was going to be sold after a couple games. Tammy Abram continues. I didn't know much about Italian football, but it has helped me develop as a player and as a man. I've come out of my comfort zone and I don't have any regret. I love the life and it uh, it's brought out another side of my game of course Tammy Abram can do pretty much everything dribbling passing defending tackling headers outside the box inside the box fox in the box everywhere Tammy Abram is in another level right now just one season under Jose Moreno Tammy continues he said, if you told me a couple of years ago I'd be playing in Italy, I wouldn't have believed you. Leaving Chelsea was difficult. It where it's grown up from the age of seven. It's hurt, man. When you see some people say, get out my club. And Tammy Abram was in the club since the age of seven, before even you became a Chelsea supporter there's a question here who loves the club more it's you or Tammy Abram it hurt but it helped it helped him to grow as a man and Tammy is going right to the top you like it or not uh I'm gonna have to jump so people have been talking about the curse of number nine and Tammy said but I don't think it's true to say there is a curse of number nine there will be different reasons for each striker and it's an honor 
to play for that club. Yeah, no sense going on. Number nine is cursed, blah, blah, blah. Tammy took the number nine and he did pretty good. Top scorers at Chelsea Football Club back to back two seasons, even though the second season he didn't even play half of the games. So you make your own number successful or you make it as a curse. Has nothing to do with a curse. You have just to perform. Um, What Tammy says again here. The midfield and the defenders are so vital. Midfield and defenders. <laughs> Jorginho Frelo, <laughs> Kovacic and all that. The midfield are so vital. It is a lonely job up front and can be difficult. The midfielder and defender are so vital for, for Chelsea. It is a lonely job up front. Yeah, so if the midfield don't supply to the number nine, to the guys in front... And then it's not going to be a, a, a good game, right? So, you remember Lukaku telling him, so I'm not going to repeat everything here because it's going to be almost the same. So, listen up to this one. Online expert, Tammy says, it's impossible to emulate him, Didier Droba, fully. But Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is wearing the number nine now. I wish him... All the best and hope he get a run. Yeah, score some goals, Mr. Aubameyang. So, the online expert that I was talking about, Tammy says, I had some moment at Chelsea where I was called a flop and told to get out. And it is, um, and if I scored, they were calling me King Droba. Yeah, flip flop SC. Just the way you see, Manson Mount, all the time, they are judged differently, though. If you are from the academy or you are from another country, the treatment is different. You are English and you are from the academy, it's a big sin. You can't win. You have to always perform to the highest level, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. You have to be perfect. They have to work 100 times harder than anybody to get a slight consideration and the next mistake people are gonna point out and hang you out there they want you to be killed so people before this video get too long i wanted to react to tammy abram sky is the limit my question now is would you take tammy abram back in the team for me yes but i don't want him to come back at chelsea though I want him to continue his career somewhere else, even if he comes to the Premier League. I want him to go to Manchester United or any team because I want him to prove people wrong so we Chelsea fans can learn how to respect our players because the disrespect that Tammy Abram got in the Chelsea community is beyond me. Okay, Everything is on Tammy. Tappy Tammy. He can't score proper goals. Hello, 16 goals. We bought Kai, ha uh, Kai Harvard and Timo Werner to, repl uh, to replace Tammy, but he still outscored them. We went for the missing piece. Paid a lot of money. <laughs> 100 million on Lukaku. What happened? For one reason or another one, because I'm, gonna, I'm not going to blame everything on Romelu Lukaku, we couldn't find a way to to accommodate him in the team the way Pep Guardiola did with uh, Erling Haaland. That is another debate for another day. But Tammy Abraham, he wasn't given a chance at all. Tammy Abraham, I think the mind was already set. Thomas Tuchel had a mindset about pretty much everybody. Okay, He pretty much decided about many players. You academy product, you are such and such. You are bad. You are out. Already, he didn't give any chance to anybody. So, that kind of mindset is the mindset that that us fans online have. It's always black or white. You can't improve. You are not Chelsea level. I want to win now. We can't win any trophy with you. So, that is impossible to develop anybody. And I completely understand the way 
uh, the manager, uh, Mr. Tukol, was managing. But there is no, I, I don't have any wrong or any bad feeling, you know, no hard feeling, no nothing. But I think the new direction is the direction to go. And that's the way I see football.